So the next one we're going to is double, all right? So now this is a little bit more of a drop back. We primarily use this out of 11 or 20 personnel, okay? So we've kind of got that tight end, off tight end, inline tight end, whatever. The reason that, that Coach Harper really liked this was for us was we got now a chip protection, okay? So whichever side the tight end was lined up to, he would tell the tackle of that side, hey, I'm going to chip the widest rusher before I release, all right? So it was kind of a lot nice if you're playing those go daddies at five technique out there, you can give your tackle a little relief. So it started right there. So the tight end was always a chip hot, okay? Sometimes we hot him outside. Most of the time we hot him shallow, okay? And we told him, hey, you're the last read in this deal. So you make sure you get a good chip on the widest rusher before you leave, okay? So let's talk about the route. So anytime we got double, our inside receiver, our H, okay, he was running the middle read. So his landmark essentially was the hash, all right? He wanted to push like he was going to try to step on the safety's toes, and then he was going to basically bend off the near safety. And what we tell that guy is, you want to be quarterback friendly, okay? So what that meant for us is if the safety's tight, okay, then the angle had to be tighter, okay? We wanted to run away from that guy. If the safety was wide, okay, or deep, then we could have a little bit skinnier of an angle, almost like a post, all right? But our whole deal was you had to basically be quarterback friendly off of this safety, okay? And then our tailback, okay, he always had a check swing protection. So it's six-man protection with a chip from our tight end, okay? Now, quarterback. So we're going to come up quarterback, oh, excuse me, the middle read guy. If it's middle of the field close, is an automatic dig. And again, it's a negative angle dig. So he was going to push to 10. There's a free safety in the middle of the field. I'm running to dig, lose the yard to the opposite hash again because I want to keep my teeth, okay? So two safeties, I'm going to bend the quarterback friendly off the near safety, one safety, automatic dig, okay? Outside routes or whatever we gave them. So it could be whatever you wanted in the drop back. I'll show you two or three of them uh, as we get going, but that's whatever we wanted, okay? Whatever you tag. So we would say like double depot and they would run the deep out, okay? Or we would say double, um, you could say double corner, okay? And you could get double corners on the outside. Whatever you want on the outside, you can tag, okay? So basically whatever your best reads are. For us quarterback wise, we came out and we found the safety away from the, the, the middle read guy, okay? And what we said is, as you're taking a drop, if that safety works to the middle read, then now you're playing whichever one-on-one -on -one you liked on the outside, okay? Let me get back to this, all right? Whichever one-on-one -on -one you liked on the backside. So if this safety doubles to the side, then you're playing whichever one-on-one -on -one you like, okay? If the safety works off the hash, okay, then we're throwing this middle read guy the ball, okay, based off of his bend off of this safety. All right, so again, let me show you some routes. So here we go. This is our favorite one to do, okay? We went double post corner right here, all right? So we're double post corner, all right? So what that allows us to do is now on the outside, we're going to push to eight break three steps to the post, and then we'll run a lazy corner out of this thing, okay? Both sides are mirrored. So when we say double, that talks to these three guys, and then the route talks to the outside receivers. So again, quarterback, we came up, we found this safe. First of all, we look outside. Which matchup do we like versus the corner, okay? We found the safety away from the middle read. He works to him, I'm throwing the outside receiver that I pre-snap read that I like the best matchup. If he works away, I throw the bin, all right? And then again, we had the chip hot late that, you know, honestly looks good on this stuff. And, you know, if we got all out blitz, we could check it down to him uh, late, never hit it last year. All right, practice it, never, never got it hit, okay? The other one that we run outside is double oaky, so our double deep out, okay? So we push up to eight to nine, speed cut this thing out, Again, the middle stays the same. They hear double, I'm chipped, hot, I'm running the middle of the field read, 
and then whatever route we give the outside guys, okay, is basically the, the routes that they run. All right, so here we go. Okay, again, we kind of do this in order. All right, so here's our middle of the field read runner. Like for him to figure out a way to get to the hash, so hopefully he stems the thing outside. On this one, I think we had double stutter. So it's double moves. So we push up like we're running a hinge and go, stutter, go. All right, this guy's got the middle read off of this safety. This safety's our read right here, quarterback. If he pushes this way, then we're gonna throw one of the outside guys. If he stays outside the hash in a double mode, then we've gotta be quarterback friendly on our bend right here. All right, so here we go again. Quarterback peak this guy, he's off the hash in a position where he can double this receiver. So now we know right now we're taking it through this window to the middle of the field read. So again, pretty good job. And again, this guy's got to attack that safety with speed. All right. It's not the linebacker, it's a safety. Go try to step on toes, bend it away from him, be quarterback friendly. So I want to press, I'm eating up ground, making that guy backpedal, stick my foot in the ground. I want to be quarterback friendly on my bend. All right. Probably could have been a little bit more friendly, almost flatten this thing out. All right, but you guys can see the concept right here. So, again, they're double covering our dude. Okay, we're getting one-on-one. -on -one. This safety's having to cover a lot of ground, find a window, throw the ball through there. All right, that was a big, big conversion for us on ESPN. Let's go to this one. All right, so here we go. Again, good alignment now. Now, one thing I will say, if you've got a quarterback that his arm's not real strong, sometimes it helps to stack these guys. Um, just the way we played around with it, we really didn't stack him. We just condensed his split down. So now that way the quarterback felt like he had a lot more, uh, a little bit shorter throw to the field throw. That way we weren't always throwing it to the boundary. Okay, so here we come. Pre-snap safety's right here, okay? If he's off the hash in a position where he can double one, he's off the hash. Then we're going right now to the bend, okay? Now I don't like the bend. He's bending off the linebacker. We'd have liked to have gone around this guy, but you guys can see this guy's so deep. He knows he's got to get into his route. Okay, again, now the safety's high. Okay, this safety's kind of off and low. Pretty good angle right there, right in that window. Okay, good job by the quarterback. Again, the quarterback, you can see on the snap, the quarterback's eyes go down here to the safety. If he's going to double away, then we've got to make that middle of the field read uh, middle of the field read route work there. So here, let's go to now the outside route. Okay, so here we go. This is the, I think this is the double pout that I talked about. So this is double pout. Terrible alignment by this guy. Got to get to the hash, dude, so we have room. Okay, again, here's our safety that we're looking at right here. Let's see what he does. Okay, he pedals and he's straight back down the hash. Okay, he's straight off the hash. We don't like this. So now let's watch our route at the top. We should get a post. That kind of a lazy one, but we get a post, one, two, three, and then back outside, all right, you can see quarterback hands are separated, pretty good timing there, bring him back downhill, shaping where you want him to go, quarterback. Uh, another look at it here, down here at the bottom, okay, good look. So again, here's our safety, inside the hash is our tail, he stays inside the hash, we know we don't like the middle of the, middle of the field uh, route, so here we go down here at the bottom, push, Break, and the big key for us is when we break on our double moves, we want to look at the quarterback, okay? We want to get our eyes to the quarterback because we feel like if the DB's looking through us to the quarterback and our eyes go back, now the DB is going to try to look and find the football. So I want to break, look at the quarterback, one, two, three, plant right back out of this thing. And again, you can see, man, we get this DB all kinds of turns around, a lot of room out here to throw the football.